into the oven. You're at the supermarket and you think about how many people you're going to have and you allow about one pound per person and then that way you'll be sure that you have some for leftovers or seconds. But keep one thing in mind is that the larger the bird is, the more meat it's going to have on its bones. The large toms, those are the males, and the smaller females, those are the hens, they really don't taste any different from each other, so just get the amount of poundage that you want. Now let's take a look at this raw bird here. Now, whenever you can, look inside the wrapper to see what you're getting, because this is a grade A bird, but it still has a pretty big tear here. I kept it this way so I could show you. And, and if it has a pop-up thermometer, you can keep it in here, but um, remember that it could get glued shut from your basting. So don't use this as the be-all and the end-all. Always back it up with a meat thermometer. Now you're going to find some goodies inside of the bird. And to me that's really good because you can use these to make a turkey stock to enhance your, your gravy and your stuffing. So here's the neck. And then there's always a bag in here. Now, do not worry if you forget to take this out. This is heat-proof plastic, I promise you, okay? And then there's all sorts of stuff in here that um, we really don't need to see. Now, with the legs, if you have large globs of fat here, you want to take them out so that they don't melt into your stuffing, but put them in your pan where they will melt and make extra drippings for your gravy. This is the secret to good gravy, this extra turkey fat.